What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. New release today, guys. 2021 Tops Update Baseball Jumbo. Double header break. Random teams number are one. Which is two cases of jumbo. 12 boxes total. And again, everybody gets a random team in the MLB. No veteran commons will ship. Everything else will. And of course, every jumbo delivers three hits, one autograph, and two relic cards. So here's the dice roll. There's a customer name. So from Ross down to I got those straight up. And then from So Min down to Jonathan got those from update one and two fillers. There's the teams. Let's roll it. Two to two four times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. There you go. Four times. Ross down to Travis. Two and a two, four times, four times. One, two, three, four. Texas Rangers down to the San Diego Padres. Alright, so that was a four. Four, four. So Ross, you have the Texas Rangers as well as the Royals. Jonathan with the Astros. Mike with the Phillies. Ross with the D-backs. Michael with the Mets. Jeremy Taylor with the Cardinals. So Min with the Indians. Jonathan with the Mariners. Emma with the Blue Jays. Harry with the Reds. Andy with the Pirates. Ryan with the Tigers. Jonathan with the Cubs. Look at that. You got your Cubs, man. Damn. Tyler with the Red Sox. Rick with the Rockies. Emma with the Nationals. Jens with the Oakland A's. Jonathan with the Orioles. So Min with the Dodgers. I with the Giants. Rick with the Marlins. Zachary with the Yankees and Angels. Stephen Kendrick with the Brewers. Kevin with the White Sox. Harry with the Twins. Ross with the Braves. Jonathan with the Rays. And Travis with the San Diego Padres. So, yeah, if anybody wants to trade, I'll give you guys a good few minutes um, to trade. I need to quickly go get one more monster box. But when I get back, of course, if the trades are not done with by then, we'll just close it. Ryan, what's going on? Shaq, how's it going?
Hey, Ryan, no problem, brother. Hope you're doing well. Whatever's going on, man. Hopefully it gets better. But you do you, man. You do you. All right, do we have any trades, guys? Or are we just going to do this? Yeah, I mean, like I tell people this all the time, you know, I would have loved for them to win. It would have been fun as hell. It would have made the experience even that much better, but I had fun, man. I had fun. Tailgating right in front of the stadium was awesome. Um, you know, it started off great, right? You know, it started off great. It really did. I even have a pretty cool video. Check it out. This is the, the the first drive was like, God damn, this is gonna be a great day. <laughs> Basically, is what it felt like. This was a. Uh, this is where we were sitting at. So that was when Kenneth Gainwell scored his touchdown in the first quarter, first drive. It was a lot. It was like 50-50 Eagle fans for sure, though. But yeah, you know, it's uh, I had fun, and I always tell people this too. Like, maybe it was meant to be this way because I got blessed seeing Nick Foles throw seven touchdown passes, and you know, I hadn't like I have I hadn't seen an Eagles loss like ever really. I think I was like four and zero, you know. So it is what it is. Seen him win. Twice here in LA, in Oakland, you know, I went to Dallas, seen them beat the Cowboys uh, in 2015, went to Philly two years ago, so I was like, alright, you know, I guess, I guess this is it, <laughs> I have to experience a loss. Alright, you need some old school Molitor and, and Robin Yao, alright. Alright. Well, again, guys, this is going to take a little bit. So, this is pretty much our night right here, guys. Most likely, like, a one and a half, two hour break. Um, I am going to try to fly through as much paper as I can. Um, but, if I do miss anything, of course, I mean, all the rookies and inserts and all that good stuff will ship. And, like I said, we have a list. I'm just going by the list to top load. So, if your rookie is not on the list, like I said, it's still going to ship. It just won't be top loaded. Uh, but again, these will be only the rookies we're going to be top loading right on this list. And it's like Mercedes, India, Vaughn, Kalanick, Badu, uh, a bunch of short prints and stuff like that. And what we'll do is at the end, we'll just open up all of these at the end of, the, of each case. For sure, Hollywood. I'll do my best, man. And I'm going to pack stack, most likely, um, all six boxes, and then we'll go through the hits.
All right, so there's one box right there. Alright, this will be our third box we'll open up and then halfway through. Uh, the extra packs are like the silver packs, so they have the you know the seventh anniversary, so they have a old like old school uh, the tops design. So they usually give you uh, three in a jumbo, and I believe you get one in a hobby box, and then those could be autographed and numbered as well. It's basically like those chrome cards. But it looks like this time it's Tops Tech. Oh, actually, we got a high tech pack right there. And these ones are the Update Series Hobby Exclusive. There's a Tops Tech pack again. Or oh, you get a top, one Tops Tech pack probably and two hobbies per, per box. That makes sense. So we'll open those up at the end of every case. Before, uh, Steven, what they did was whenever you came into a local card shop or something like that and you bought a box, the owner of the shop or the shop that you're shopping at would have these packs in the back. So whenever you bought a box, they gave you three, they gave you one. But what they started doing now as of like maybe two years ago, they started just putting them in the boxes because uh, most people were actually just kind of selling them on their own on their own or stealing them so you know let's say i was here working right and i'm like huh i kind of just want to rip a pack or hey i'll sell you guys a pack for 10 bucks or etc cetera, etc cetera. and then all of a sudden when someone bought a tops jumbo oh sorry man we're out of packs so it's like you're specifically meant to give them to the customers anytime they buy a box but people were kind of just taking them for themselves 
or like I said, we were or we would sell them off is how people would do it. So now I think what they did is just put them inside the box and it saves everybody that trouble. Actually, let's, um, let's move these ones to the back, actually. Gives us some room to... Gives us a little bit more room. Sorry guys, this is just one case. All the packs are right here too guys. Don't worry. All right, last box here, guys.
Alrighty, cool. Took about 20 minutes or so. 15, 20 minutes to get ripped. Let's go, guys. Good luck. So again, like I said, we'll do our best to uh, get any of the penny sleeve rookies, penny sleeves, and top loaded. But if I were to miss any, don't worry, everything does ship. Luis Garcia, a little red foil to 189. Hamilton. Carlson. We have a gold foil. the Yankees and her first relic is a little medallion of Brian Reynolds for all-star game Castle. And to ninety nine, Sicto Sanchez, little what is that canvas? Rookie debut. Looks really nice. 24 to 99. Marlins. Who has the Marlins? Rick Thomas. Also, if you want to take a quick glance at your teams, too. Lance Lynn. Showtime, Shohei Otani. Andrew Vaughn, rookie. Jazz Chisholm. We got Esteban Floreal, gold foil. A Rod little reprint. It's a cool photo right there. Francisco Mejia, Luis Robert, Alright, the first half of the first box. Andrew Vaughn.
sick dough to 2021 Stubbs Boba Shet, Fast Friends Foil and look at that Ronald Acuna Jr. I hit a Juan Soto like this earlier. A little pack filler. They look amazing cards. Nick Badu. Logan Gilbert? That must be a short print if it's backwards. Let's double check. This code ends in 8416. Yep, 1st autograph is Edward Olivares for the Padres. I with that one, I believe. No, Travis Melberg, sorry. To 2021, Rodriguez. And there's an Aaron Judge like this card right here. It looks awesome. Badu. First box. Next one. To four ninety nine. Fast friends. Blue Jays. Manny Ramirez. Jonathan India. Medallion, Cedric Mullins.
to 2021, Shane McCallahan. Finish up the first half of the box. Mazzara, Kershaw, the Beebs, Andrew Vaughn, Badu. Jazz. And look at that short print, Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's go. That's nice. Ross with the Braves. Short prints are always really nice to hit. We got a relic here of Joey Gallo. All Star Games, Texas Rangers edition. Finish off the second half. Cronenworth to three hundred. Oh, that's hand. Gold foil. Kyle Isbell. Hendricks and Jared Walsh. It's like a purple. I don't think these are numbered, but it is a color. Perdomo, Jonathan India.
And autograph is Akil Badu. Baseball star rookies. Detroit. Who has Detroit? Ryan P. So 2021, Steve Chesek. Yeah, WW Fresh. I mean, <laughs> for the people love this stuff, but yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of base in between, of course, what you want to basically chase. But I, there is a pattern. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just skip through everything and just go through the color and, and that but I feel like at least flipping through is still got to do that you know but I, I know some people that obviously just legit just go boom you know and just go to this which it would be much faster but at the same time I've you know customers did buy into this and you know we don't want to like skip any other rookies that we potentially are looking for to top load and whatnot you know The majority of these, of course, are just base and rookies that aren't too crazy expensive. Definitely would make the break go by faster, though. I just wouldn't feel too comfortable doing that. Jonathan India. That's a gold foil. And we got Pete Alonzo. Junior. John's in India. German. And we got an autograph for the Rangers, Anderson Tejeda, Texas Rangers. Kellenic. To four ninety nine. Matt Shoemaker. Joe Adele. Kalanick. 
German Mercedes. Also, guys, a little FY for the Angels owner. It looks like the the um, foil on the top of this card is already kind of coming off. So, put it in nicely in there. See it right there. Hopefully, we'll get more Joe Dells and not have to worry about that. But All right, second half. That big, is, damn, is it the panda? I didn't know he was on the brace. Twenty twenty one, Michael Taylor. Medallion and Matt Olson. Fernando Tatis Jr. short print. Wow, that's a nice one right there. Padres going to Travis. And a Tejon Walker for the Mets. Twenty one Harris
Next box, guys. Twenty twenty one, Hunter Renfro, Jonathan India foil. That's nice. Casey Mize retro. Andrew Vaughn. Alec Bone. To two ninety nine, Wade Davis. And Josh Fleming for the race. Going to Jonathan Arnaldi. Cronenworth All-Star Game. Kellenek. Four ninety nine. That is Sterling Sharp. Mookie. Alrighty, second half here guys, and then we'll have two more boxes to go. Then we'll be done with the first case. Gary Richards to 2021. Tatis Retro. Dallin, Chris Bryant. Roberto Clemente short print. Very nice. Andy Owens for the Pirates. That's sweet. And a little relic. 
like your Boba Shot. Kalanick Retro. Kalanick again. Nice little Greg Maddox. 51. So 2021, that's Corey Kluber. We have Bruce Zimmerman. Andrew Vaughn gold foil and Luis Alexander for the Giants going to high It's 
No tigers. Soda. Alright guys, down to the last box of the half. So this is the second half of the last second to last box. And we have a Alec Manoa. Medallion, Jose Altuve. At a 70 black border, rookie combos for the Colorado Rockies. Frank Robinson reprint. To 70, Nick Castellano. Last box here, guys, and then we got done with the first case.
to 70. John Birdie. Showtime, show Hill Tony. Gallagher. Four ninety nine. Hudson, Dakota Hudson, or no, not Daniel Hudson, sorry. Joey Bart. Autograph is a Stevon Floreal. Yankees. It's going to go to Zachary. David Hale. Mente. Jose Ramirez, little medallion for the Cleveland Indians. So man. All right, last little stack here, guys. We'll be done with the first case. It took me about an hour to do this first case. Ripping it and then going through it. Twenty twenty one. Luis Gonzalez. And we got a relic here of Spencer Howard for the Phillies. Mercedes Kalanick. Ted Williams, Bo Jackson, Jonathan India, Mark 
Campanella. Alrighty, done with the first case. Woohoo! <laughs> We're halfway through, guys. Alright guys, let me get the actually sorry, let's go through these packs and then we'll get the next one going. We'll leave the high tech packs to be last after this. Alright, good luck. Jazz Chisholm. Top holiday. John and India Ricky. Mike Trout. Bone. Key Brian Hayes. Glavin. Number to 199. And that one felt numbered, but I don't think these ones are numbered. That one just felt different. It's a little bit thick, thicker than normal. Okay, Brian Hayes. Perdomo. And blue, Mark McGuire. Fifty. There you go. Jared Kalanick, Bo Bichette, Kibrian Hayes, Dylan Carlson, Kibrian Hayes, Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, Alec Bohm, Nolan Arenado, Javier Baez, Gary Cole and Mookie Betts.
All right, guys, let's start the next one. There you go. All right, last box here, and then we'll rip through the packs.
I guess. I'm just gonna do one box at a time, and we'll rip one box at a time. And I'm gonna try to skim through this just a little bit quicker. Like I said, everything will ship all the rookies inserts, minus the veteran base, but just to kind of get this break going by a little bit quicker. Medallion, Xander Bogarts. Bregman. All right, so this is the first box of the second case. First box of the second case. Double header number one. Expect to put up an, uh, for Nick to put up another double header if he hasn't already for tomorrow. So pretty much we're done after this, guys. So that mosaic and five star will most likely have to break tomorrow. All right, we got some base, base, base. All about that base, about that base. Got a foil there, Javier Baez. Little all-star there. Evan White. Carlos Rodon. Our first half of the first box. Jared Kalanick, India, all right, we got a little uh, bronze right there. Yeah, it's 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 a little bit of a of a long one, but hey, it's part of the it's part of the job, right? We can't always just be breaking flawless briefcases and NT boxes and Dynasty one box one card type boxes. <laughs> we have to break it all. That was a nice Nolan Arenado. Tyler Widener.
Yeah, Rex, this is update. So I guess they released update today, but only the jumbo edition, not hobby. Which I thought that was a little weird. Andrew Vaughn. The high-tech cards are actually really cool, though. Yeah, it wasn't, I don't feel like it was really advertised that like, hey, update's coming out, you know? I don't know. I came in today and I, I thought I checked blow yesterday's calendar and I want to say maybe my eyes just skipped over update, but I didn't think of any crazy release today, but at least we got one done on release day. A little double header. Most likely, of course, check back to see more. I'm sure there'll be more up. Um, but yeah, I mean, we were, we are actually fairly busy throughout the day. This one obviously is just going to take like two hours, two hours, two and a half hours or so, you know, it's kind of just killed a lot of time, but at least we got it done towards the end of the night. I mean, we got Noir done. We got a multi-sport jerseys done. We got Origins done. We got an Obsidian Soccer done. And then obviously killing off this double header. So for, Ooh, wow. Look at that. That's sick right there. Hopefully for tomorrow, we can get nice Walker Bueller, though. That's 8 out of 10, all-star jersey and autograph for the Dodgers. Um, hopefully we can get um, that mosaic done. What the hell's going on here? That mosaic done so we can get that five-star knocked out as well. So 2021 for the St. Louis Cardinals, Roll Ramirez. Oh man, look at this one. This one's really coming up. The foil. That's a shame. Hopefully there's another Kalanick in there for the Mariners for you, John. Oh, did you really, Rex? Did you have a overnight shift yesterday or, or what? Some overtime maybe tomorrow? Oh, I mean yesterday, I should say. To 70, Kevin Pilar. To 300.
Out of 70, Carlos Hernandez. And we have a Tatis. Yeah, went around 30. Oof. Yeah. He definitely had to catch up on some sleep for sure. I don't know. Sometimes that that type of exhausted sleep feels great. You know? Like when you've just been working mad hours and then you finally like sleep in and just sleep like 12 plus hours. I don't know. Sometimes I like that. I just feel like as of the last few months, my my schedule's been the same, but I don't know, me and my wife has just been into a TV show that we kind of, re, we already re, we've seen it, so we're kind of rewatching it, but it's like if we were watching it all over again, because we haven't seen it in so long. So, man, sometimes I'm not going to bed till like 3 or 4 in the morning. And then, like, I wake up, like, at 12 or 1, and then basically I only got, like, an hour or two to get ready and then come to work. <laughs> You know, I need to, I need to stop doing that. It's like when I get out of work, like 11, 12, just go right to bed. Take some melatonin and just go right to bed. So that way I can get up at a reasonable time. Ramirez. Jacob DeGrom. Technically on vacation now, but I have to go in a few days for a few hours. So, yeah. It's kind of like how my mom was when she used to work for the post office. She used to be, like, on a vacation. But, like, if, we, if like, her and my parents or, you know, we weren't going to do anything, like, go out of town, like, a specific weekend, then she would go on, like, a day out of her vacation. So that way it kind of uh, accumulated to, like, an extra day, an extra week of vacation. Ooh. Another Ronald Acuna Jr. short print. Very nice. Marquez. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. Spent so much time. Like, when we first got right back into it... <laughs> I swear, one, on a, one of our days off, we woke up like around 11, 12, you know, from a late night Saturday. And we probably seen it at about 8 or 9 p.m. And we're like, holy shnikes, like eight hours just passed us. Oh, yeah, that's right, Rex. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's, man. I wish I could live five minutes away from Jaspies. <laughs> I mean, I could live down the street, but it's crazy because Hermosa Beach is such a beautiful beach city, but like a lot of the like places here, unless they're modernized, but like, you know. A lot of the apartments are pretty old, so they look so beat up, but, you know, you pay just as much as, like, living, like, five miles away, and you get, like, a luxurious apartment, you know? So it's like, I could live down the street and walk here, but I choose not to live here because <laughs> for what I pay five miles away, I get so much more <laughs> than five minutes away. It's like no one needs to update anything here because just the location you're in pays for it all.
got to do the finishing up the double header. Should I just throw it in there? Uh, yeah. Put it on the desk okay. on this wall. All right, next box. Yeah. That's Marin's. What? Should I tap in a break? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know, I kind of want to be amused with this movie. Can we not? Is that in Yep. Yeah. Uh, I know the average California gas price is like over five bucks right now, Rex, but that's only in certain cities, man. I've never seen it at five dollars. I could probably find places like, like I put my gas at Costco. See you, man. I put my gas at Costco. I probably pay no more than like three eighty-five, maybe four bucks, but there are some places in LA. I mean, California alone, I'm sure, like, in, like, San Francisco and certain areas, but, like, certain places in downtown LA and stuff like that, that they'll charge, like, five fifty for gas. I don't know about $8, but five fifty for sure. But, again, I've never paid more than, like, four fifteen for gas. And it's crazy, because, like, you have, like, one gas station across from the other, and one's, like, 30 cents cheaper, and you still see people putting gas at, like, you know... Chevron, and then across the street, just like a smaller, you know, gas brand. It's like thirty cents cheaper, but people are still putting a Chevron. So some people don't really care. But I remember them saying that Thomas was going to take it. I just don't know if he ever did or they just threw it away. That was a nice couch. That one outside is nice too, but... Tatis. It's a little blue. I'll probably be like another 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Well, yeah. I mean, it's about like 10 or so minutes for each box. I thought like another hour. No, I already, I've been breaking for an hour and 40 minutes already. Well, with randomizers and like ripping everything. This one, I'm just doing one box at a time ripping, but then going through the parts. Anything else sell out? No, I'm done after this. Is it 3.30 over there? Wow, that's, I didn't think that, Rex. That's actually very expensive. Uh, if you can close it, but it come up. And you got Carlos Rodon. I would have thought like gas in like Indiana was like two eighty five or something under three dollars. Can you give me one thirties? Just need one box. They're not behind you. Yeah, they might take them behind me. I'm just saying if you can get them from. Oh. I think when I went to Vegas this past weekend, I think I paid three seventy five or three eighty. Which again, that's like not Costco. I'm sure if I would have went to like a Costco in Vegas, I guarantee I probably could have got to like three fifty. Two fifty, Hunter Renfro, Christian Pache relic, Ted Williams. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Dude, <laughs> I remember like early 2000s, my parents were paying like 99 cents for gas. And it just made so much sense why, like, everybody in California at the time, like, and that was in California. Everybody had a truck. Dude, you could fill up a 20-gallon truck for 20 bucks. Like, sign me up now. Paying almost 5 bucks a gallon for a truck that holds 20 gallons. Dude, you're paying, like, $100 now. It's funny because that's what my brother-in-law would tell me. He goes, dude, that's why, like, I had a truck. I can haul shit. I can do whatever the hell I wanted with the truck and only pay, like, 20 bucks to fill it up ridiculous now Mike Trout yeah even a couple years ago what the price was that's all right though it's it's it's, it's all at least in California it's gonna change by 2025 in a few years they can't sell any gas cars it has to be all electric now that doesn't mean obviously you can't drive a car but dealerships aren't aren't gonna be able to sell any gas cars so I'm assuming that gas prices in California are going to drop big time because everybody's just going to go to electric. Right? So, I wonder if gas cars would be so much cheaper by then. I mean, I just recently got a new car on my wife like two, three months ago. Um, that'll probably be our last like gas car probably. I think by then we'll just go electric. Short print, Don Manley. Yeah, so what you would have to do is just go out of the state, just go buy a, a, a gas car. I want to say it was 2025. I could be wrong, 2027, but I, I remember they said 2025. Hell, I would like to get a Tesla. I mean, I'm not really that kind of guy to get a Tesla, but I don't think it's worth to spend all that money right now for a car like of like that's like fifty six thousand. You know, I'm not even really a car guy to be honest. I mean, I love my new our new car. Me and my wife got we know we got a nice K five Kia. I'm a big Kia guy now. My first well, my first ever car was like a '96 Honda Civic that I was gifted by from my sister. I had that for a few years. I got it with like 200,000 miles. I put like 300, I put 150,000 miles on that bad boy. Like I added an extra 150,000 and it did me very well. And then my first car I ever bought was like, uh, barely even used. I think I got it through AAA. It was like 8,000 miles, like here or Forte. And I never had problems with it. I never, I never did anything. I mean, I never had any problems with it. I know nothing. So when it was finally time to get a new car a few years ago, I just stuck with Kia because I never had problems. That's kind of how my parents were too. Like whenever either whatever brand they had, if there was no engine problems or nothing, they just kept it going. So then I got an Optima and then two years later, I mean, we just leased it. We were just like, ah, eh, maybe in two years we'll want something new. And we did. Now we got the new K5s. Those are really nice. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so... I'll probably keep this car a little bit longer because it's like the new body and stuff and I really love it. But I've never had problems with Kia's. They just, uh, they just show, they just, uh, they just announced their new, uh, Sportage. Man, that shit looks nice. They're all sporty now too. I remember that guy trying to sell me on the car. He was like, man, you know, we got some people from Audi designing these cars now and you know, they're really, really good and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, dude, it's no problem. Oh, there's another car like that again. Killer Offs is coming up. But yeah. Kia Gang, Rex. Kia Gang. And then when I got my car, my mom got a, a Telluride. That's a nice-ass car. She was, she's was she been wanting to get a new car for herself, so she finally got one. My sister got a new car, too. She got a Kia Celto. I'm like, man, we're definitely a Kia family for sure, except my brother. He needs to get a new car soon, too, so hopefully maybe he sticks around with the Kia gang. Although he said he wanted one of those Broncos that came out. You remember Mercedes? 
But yeah, I'm not really a car guy, so that's why I'm like, is it worth even spending that much money on a car that I just need to get to point A to point B? Juan Soto. I like had to, I mean, not that I had to learn, but I learned how to just change like oil, do an oil change, cabin air filter change and shit like that on my Honda, but that was pretty much about it. I'm not, I'm a sports guy, <laughs> so I'm not one of those like people that love cars, love sports and all that stuff. I'm just more of a sports guy. Handyman, I, I try to be, I'm just really not, honestly. It's funny because like my, my dad... You know, all my uncles and all that were all handyman. That's all, that's all they did. But a lot of us that, like, a lot of us cousins didn't really get that gene or that love for it. It's like anything fixes, calling this guy. Calling this guy. I learned how to change the tire at once, Rex, but I, I, that's why I paid AAA for, right? <laughs> it's like 70 bucks for roadside assistance for a year. Anytime I get locked out of my car, you know, pop a tire, need some gas, they bring you like five gallons of gas. It's definitely worth the membership. I don't know. Twenty twenty one, Joe Kelly. India. India. Andrew Vaughn. Rowdy. Ortiz. And Jared Oliva is an autograph for the Pirates.
Santos coming up. Santos. Eric Cole is coming up a little bit. Twenty one, Matt Harvey. Toscar Hernandez. See you, Jason. Be safe. See you later, man. Out of 70, Josh Van Meter. And we got a relic there of Eduardo Escobar. Jared Kellen and gold. All right, guys. So after this, we'll have two more boxes to go, guys. 2021 Celestino. La vida más fina. All righty, guys. Two more boxes to go. Two more boxes. I 
I'll do a recap video here at the end as well. To show you guys the hits, the autos, the relics, sword prints. And that'll pretty much be it. So again, guys, we are done for the night after this. Really appreciate the fill. This ended up being a two hour break or so. But thanks for digging deep, guys, and getting this done today. Uh, of course, like I said, we, we have we have some more double headers probably coming up as well. So if you guys want to get the next one rolling for tomorrow, definitely get it rolling. Um, and I really want to do that mosaic baseball hobby tomorrow with that five star. I think that would be really nice to get done tomorrow. I'm sure we'll get done with tomorrow some more soccer like Obsidian. I think there's something hiding in Obsidian that's pretty nice. I mean, hopefully tomorrow when I get here, we start off the day with mosaic and five star, you know? Since the filler pretty much is just down to nine left. That should get done tomorrow. And then hopefully that basketball mixer actually is getting really close too, guys. If we could sell out another prism and then two cello packs, I think we can get that done. I could try to potentially what I'll do is I could put back five spots into the basketball mixer. And then maybe people can buy spots straight up. And then we only have to do one hoops and then one more prism multi-pack cello. Can always do that as well. But I'm here for one more night tomorrow, guys. Then I'll be off for the next two days. Joe will be back here on Sunday. And he starts his week from Sunday to Thursday. I won't be back here tomorrow. I'll be back and then after tomorrow. I uh, won't we'll be back till next Friday. I don't think so, Mark. I think we just sold out on Instagram today. And then obviously on YouTube, I don't think we had any more since release day or yesterday. We should be getting some more though. I just look out for it. Kind of stock the website. Because we randomly just get stuff in. Uh, but just remember, of course, you know, the price may be different than what you originally got it for on release night. Because the price did go up. For us to buy, then price have to go up just a little bit, but hopefully not. Yeah, I would say maybe potentially look out tomorrow, if not by uh, by Monday. Is that long? No, it's not long. Francisco Lindor. No problem, man. Out of 50, Josh Rojas. With a little relic here of Cedric Mullins. Orioles All-Star Game. Excuse me. And Jared Oliva, that's our second autograph of him. Pirates. Second half here. Right, so, uh, Brady, we'll have, we'll see the, the relatively favorite target here. Antonio Brown, 
Mike Trout short print. Let's go. Zachary with that one. Nice. Matt Olson. Showtime. So I'm stuck on the back. John Lester, 300. All right, last stack here, and then we got one more box. Twenty twenty one. Good though. All right, guys. So again, last box coming up plus the silver packs. And we'll do a little recap as well.
Good luck, guys. Last box. To four ninety nine, rug near the door. You remember Sadis, Yadier Molina. Casey Mize. And Matt Foster. It's your autograph for the White Sox. Chicago White Sox. That's going to Kevin. Blake's now. Alright guys, second half, last half of the box, last box of the break. Jazz Chisholm, short print, very nice. Miami, going to Rick Thomas. Jazz is a stud. Medallion there, Freddie Freeman for the Braves. Ross with that one. Madrigal. Relic there of Juan Soto. Last stack right here, guys. The 
Dauer. Alright. There you go, guys. So let me quickly just penny sleeve all this. So let's quickly go through the silver packs and then Boom. To Brian Hayes. We got a blue Ernie Banks. That is number to 150. Kellenic. Boom. Jonathan India, Trout. Dale Murphy to Playing Kershaw, Yelich, Joey Bart, Kershaw, Pete Alonzo, Javier Baez, Shohei Otani. Eric Cole and Mookie Bat. Alright, 
All right, guys, and there you go. That was the break. So let me quickly do a recap for you guys. One second. So this was the most recent box. Or oh, sorry, this is the first box right here. So we had a relic of Spencer Howard for the Phillies. Medallion there of Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Esteban Floreal for the Yankees autograph. Tariq Scubo for Detroit. Medallion there for Jose Altuve and the Houston Astros. That is a short print Alec Manoa. Bobby Bich uh, Bo Bichette, sorry, for the Blue Jays. That is a short print Roberto Clemente for the Pirates. Chris Bryan medallion. Josh Fleming autograph for the Rays. Jonathan Indias silver uh, foil. Tajon Walker relic. Tatis short print. We got a Matt Olson medallion. Anderson Tejeda autograph. Akil Badu, autograph there. Short print, Ronald Acuna Jr. Relic there, Joey Gallo. Cedric Mullins medallion. Edward Oliveras autograph. Short print, Logan Gilbert. Uh, relic there, Lance Lynn. And medallion, Brian Reynolds. So that was the first case of the three hits per box. This is the most recent one, of course. Medallion, Freddie Freeman. Relic, Juan Soto. Matt Foster autograph. Jazz Chisholm, short print. Matt Olson medallion, relic Cedric Mullins, Jared Oliva Pirates autograph, Mike Trout short print, which is really nice, Eduardo Escobar relic medallion there of Tascar Hernandez, autograph Jared Oliva again, Christian Pache relic, Don Madley uh, short print, Dansby Swanson autograph, Carlos Rodon uh, medallion, little Tatis blue, Jeremy Marquez relic, another Ronald Cooney Jr. short print, Jacob DeGrom. Walker Bueller patch autograph to 10. Tyler Widener autograph. Nolan Arenado relic. And Xander Bogarts medallion. So those are pretty much the three hits per box right there for the 12 boxes. The rest of the stuff is obviously either numbered cards, uh, bronze, gold foils, and rookies that were going to be penny suit to be top loaded. So appreciate it, guys. This was the doubleheader case break number one on jazpyscasebreaks.com. We'll have another one for tomorrow, guys. Thank you.